Bottle Ned here in front of an early 20th century California bungalow style house. Basically a piece of crap house that uh, nobody wants to dig bottles behind. Why am I gonna dig bottles behind this place? Here's why. California bungalows are craftsman style houses popularized in the early 1900s that no one looking for 19th century bottles wants to dig behind. Or do they? Let's look at a map from 1870 showing the block where this bungalow sits. The red outline indicates where the house sits today. As you can see, the map shows the block empty of any houses in this time period. But what it does show is an old slough running through there, in what now is the backyard of the bungalow house. Today, the slough isn't there anymore because it's someone's flat backyard. So what happened to this slough? Well, the simple answer is, it was filled. And the filling was done prior to the construction of this bungalow house at the turn of the 20th century. And why does any of this matter? Because in the 1800s, before designated landfills, places like this were used as a dumping ground. Bays, rivers, sloughs, low spots, anything people could easily dump their waste into, they probably did. Remember, there weren't environmental regulations in the Old West. They just did whatever was easiest to create more flat ground in order to expand their cities. And as sloughs like this were filled, more houses were built until these prehistoric wetlands were just a memory living on in the DNA of the local waterfowl. And now, I'm going to grab a shovel and see if my theory is right. All right, we're here in, in a random backyard with Chip the Chip. Mexican Mark, <laughs> not to be confused with Mark Icardi. <laughs> and uh, many Mexican Marcos. We're trying to find a, a dump. There, there was a slough running through this neighborhood. These are just old houses from the 1920s crap, you know, but there's some 19th century uh, glass floating around here. We think there's a dump underneath some of this. So we're going to check it out. Where's that piece of that bottle? Oh. Got a nice... Sorry. There's a piece. I don't know what the hell this thing is. It's like a dude drinking a bottle. Okay, right so there's the dump there. Yes. Right here, look at Right on the side of this fence. And yeah. The hole, there's dump there. Yeah, that's it. Well, this, you got an early brick patio that's not mortared. This could be some 19th century thing they built over when they filled the dump to stay, to walk on something. Yeah. So it's stable to walk on. And then below here, you got some, some rocks, some river rocks, creek rocks, but that's they right. could have either, that's either native geology that's prehistoric, a prehistoric creek, or it's fill used to cap off the dump. Yeah. And they made it really hard. And I got my probe stuck in there. <laughs> I can't extract it. <laughs> oh. <sighs> so we're going to determine whether or not that's native uh, or if it's just capped for a dump. Yeah, and this like hard, rocky shit that looks like native. I pulled this bone out. Oh, here, add this to your hand. That, is that in there too? Yeah. Ooh, that tells you something. This, this is Phil, I tell you. Unless this is a dinosaur bone <laughs> and a dinosaur plate. So it's kind of like hard and clean. So that might be the, uh, what do you think it is? I think it's the actual river bottom. The river bottom. But like, right there. Oh yeah. What is there? It's probably not dumped below that unless it's just more really hard fill. It's hard to tell. That's Damn. the problem. You're right, you can't, you can't get past it. Another test hole. Yeah, it's to... like breaking there. Some plaster stuff or cement or some stuff. Trying to pinpoint the juice of this dump. It's hard as you see people filling the landscape with layers of crap, but not the right layers yet. And then below that in the test hole, it's hard. It doesn't feel like it opens up. Damn. <laughs> so we're opening this thing up. 
Hey, Mark, what'd you feel with the probe? Good. It's good. <laughs> good layer down there below yeah. that yep. weird gravel stuff. So we're going to expand. All right. Migration never happened for you, buddy. Missed a boat. Hey, dude, you missed one. You got a bottle right there. Look, a whiskey flask. Oh, no, a whiskey flask right there. Oh, dang. Well, <laughs> uh, AMS. Damn. Multiple sclerosis. <laughs> Multiple suckosis. Screw top osis. That's a, what is this? These have dates on them, these newer ones. Mm. Probably from the early to mid 1950s, maybe the 40s, but it's after 1933. Professor Mann. Because uh, federal law forbids sailor reuse of this bottle. They, they embossed that on liquor bottles after the repeal of prohibition. Which was? 1933. Okay. Yeah. Hey, Federal law forbids was embossed on American liquor bottles starting after the repeal of prohibition in the early 1930s until the mid-1960s in an effort to discourage people from illegally distilling and bottling their own liquor, aka moonshine, a common practice during prohibition years. On this base, D1 is the distiller code number. 64 is the liquor bottle permit number for the glass factory that made the bottle, and on the right is usually the date, but sometimes there's just a single number like this. I googled these identification numbers and found out that this bottle contained Old Crow Whiskey and was made by the Anchor Hawking Glass Factory. The initials AMS embossed on the lower front of the bottle stand for American Medicinal Spirits Company one of the few distillers to survive prohibition because they were able to find a way to legally distill and sell whiskey intended for medicinal purposes only, which one could only buy with a prescription. Yeah, you just take so. from knowledge, man. About one specific thing only, <laughs> bottles, <laughs> and everything related to bottles, which is everything. There you go. Everything. 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 <sighs> Surface layer here, and maybe when they dug up the basement, old bricks. Cod bottle. We're not in bloody England. Oh, that might be the piece of that weird uh, embossing yes. over there. Yeah. That makes sense. Import. Yeah. Weirdo from England came here. Actually, I think I called you. Really? You really don't find English cods in the West. Look at that. Below the clean rocks is a bunch of oyster shells. Unbelievable. Freaking layer. Nice probe right through a shell. At least that wasn't a bottle. Damn. Yeah. I'll take that finder's fee. That's cheap. Oh, I think I hit maybe a bottle down there. Let's see what it is. Oh. Ooh. Ah, oh, snikes. Oh, damn terracotta pipe. Oh no. <laughs> Let's hope it's not active. <laughs> Yikes. Got the oh, yeah. We'll be getting shit on. It's the after, after process. Sledgehammer. Yeah, unless someone flushes the toilet, then you're. <laughs> the thing about those old terracotta sewer lines. One time I broke through one and I was like, oh, there's nothing inside of it. Everything's good. And then someone flushed it. I heard a toilet flush <laughs> and it's a, gotcha. you could hear it getting closer. Oh, and I'm like, get out of the get hole. Out of the hole. <laughs> Morning. Shittiness is all these damn bricks. First obstacle between us and the bot. Yeah, one of many. Yeah, one of many. They broke up that patio thing, probably to put a terracotta line in here. What is this thing? Galvanized pipe. Well, watch out, though. Yeah, you probably don't want to break that. Cast iron. <laughs> we have a water pipe for the whole block. <laughs> cast iron pipe there. Might have to just work around it. God, man. Always something. Pipe. 
Oh, he's moving. Damn, you're like the butterfly whisperer. Well, I'm gonna find a nice push for him. Let's see if you're the bot whisperer. How you laid the pipe? <laughs> I think you're doing the opposite. <laughs> you're delaying the pipe. <laughs> Ground's so damn hard from all the summer desiccation we've had in the West. We're gonna have to flood we have to freaking flood this this ground before we can dig. So we probed a bunch in here. Now we're gonna, we're gonna flood the probe holes. Here it comes. Oh. 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 Oh, that feels good. Nothing harder to dig than a super compact dump, you know, you know. Give me that, Marcus. <laughs> Wait, Ned just cleared that. Now you're going to take that out? <laughs> little bit. God damn chip, man. Every time I get a test hole into this dump, I got chip filling me in. No, it looks so juicy. Please, let me just dig for a little while. Oh. Look at it. Looks so tempting, but we gotta expand this hole before we get into it. Yeah, I think I was with you. We were digging one day, and we got a brassy. Well, half, right? Half a one. Yeah, half a one. Yeah, that makes a big difference. It was ancient. Stopper, dude. It was like wow. Look at that. Ancient. Yeah, I got. We got ourselves a. Uh, we got ourselves a top yeah. here. Huh. That's a top. Oh, it is. Yeah. Hopefully it's not just the tip. Yeah. Yeah. My buddy just dug a uh organo. Oh yeah. We're at Yeah, it's good many. I can't tell you then. Oh okay. Yeah, the organo Yeah. Oh come on. Damn. That's a 70s olive oil top, or at least 1870s. Oh, yeah. Cool. What's in like an early base to a, a decanter or a glass or something? Right. Hand it up. Let's see what it is. Oh, cool pattern. I've never seen that pattern before. Huh. It's kind of weird. It's early. Let's zoom in on it. That is early. Damn. Is it? Yeah, it's early pressed glass. Lots of bones, oyster shells, plate, bottle fragments. Hopefully it's not the rest of that broken piece. Champagne in the ass. Yeah. It's whole though, that's a good sign. Oh yeah, here we go. Black glass bases equals smiling faces. You know, let's see. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Mmm, there we go. I like this, yeah. Ah, too bad it's not whole, that'd be a better sign, but it's a big enough piece. He's hit the bottom, so we got like a foot thick layer of oyster shells and broken 1870s, 1860s stuff. So we're also going to see if we can access the dump a little bit easier in one of these basements. Ooh. Ooh. Ah, ah, ah. Let me turn a light on here. Sick, dude. It's a clear one. Here you you go, just Marcus. found that under here? Marcus spotted it. Holy shnikes. Yeah, that thing's rare as shit. Oh, look, the cat's spirit was protecting it. 
Yeah. So now hopefully it won't be. Uh, Where was it? Was it just like right on there. the surface? Right there on the surface. Oh, look at that granite ware. Damn. Let's see if there's anything else back here. <laughs> Looks like, the, oh, look. Is that a dump layer? There's a little plaster brick layer. This mark was hit on the other side. Yeah. The way over here, this one. Look at that plaster, the plaster, and then the black. Look at yeah, I've never seen a clear one of those. Here, let me film up here. Oh, hey, look look at the back of Ned. Turn around, Ned. Show Marcus. Wow, it's from far away, too. He doesn't understand. Turn around. Ned, <laughs> rotate a little bit. Okay. The other way. We want to see your back. Can you film me? <laughs> film it. Fuck. Film it. What, what, what is it? Look, get his oh. arm over here. <laughs> Cobweb man. The mummy. <laughs> look at his butt. <laughs> <laughs> what is it really? Is it You're that bad? Full of it. <laughs> am, I, am I a fool? Do I look like a fool? <laughs> it's nasty. At least we're fools with a clear split beer. <laughs> look at this weird object. It's got this like ruby red top. Glass top. It's like a bottle shape. Broken here, but it's got this stick down into it from the top. It's like this vial that's broken in half. Really strange object here. Never seen anything like that. It's glass red cap on it. Model, Marcus? I'm going to keep it. Ooh. Yeah, broken. Pico. Pico Joe. I get it. Uh, yeah, Extreme close up. Come on, get some bullshit. Was there anything in the basement, Chip? I don't think so. No. Nope. Uh, I hate gravel and sandy stuff. But it's be bad. Weird. So that means the dump isn't over there, I guess. No, it isn't. That's yeah. The river bottom. Okay. So we're like finding, we're figuring out where the slough goes. Unfortunately, it means it has to be on the right side. Yeah. Whoa. The bottle's getting bigger. We'll be back after these commercial messages when the bottles more exposed. Oh, that stupid piece of junk crock beer broke a lady's leg. I'll pull it out even if it's headless. It might be a salutarius piece of crap. It's kind of too big, but... Ah, uh, we were working on this lady's leg bitters and the damn thing was like whole up all the way to the top. And then you could see where a stupid on it clay too. beer landed right. on it. What? There's so writing on it? Yeah. No, it's, yeah, it's not breaking. It. Please tell yeah. me it doesn't say burn and castry. It's on like the neck. Oh, the, good the God. The that's, that's it's a, a it's a salutarius. Hello, rare. It, it's, it looks too big for a salutarius, but I don't know any other ladies' legs that are embossed on the neck. Or on, like, or on, on the, the shoulder. Yeah, the shoulder. It might, maybe it's some weird Euro thing because it's like a weird size. God. Uh, uh, is there a guy drinking a bottle on it? Yeah, that stupid dickwad threw a crock beer onto the top. You can see it. See the, the, the pottery thing right next to it? Right where the top is? Yeah. Oh, Cut yourself? Yeah. Uh, I don't know why you're doing that. <laughs> well, those those cheesy okay. gloves, you're man. Out. Get you out. Yeah, but your gloves are probably thicker. Yeah, I put my leather ones on. Yeah, you need those garbage man gloves. <laughs> Dude, I'm my waist right no! I'm running out of disc space. Please pull the, pull the bottle out. I'll be out in seconds. Come on, 1860s Western. Oh, oh. Oh, I pity the fool. What? You're right. It's, it says bitters. What? Jurgit. Oh. Jurgit bitters? God, that would have been a, probably a good one, unless it's a Euro trash. Maybe it's Euro. What the hell? It's base embossed? What does it say? Jurich bitters. J Jurich? J Jurich bitters? I have never seen that. Bottle Ned's never seen that bot. Oh my god. He hasn't seen it. Well, it's probably a Euro trash, but let me see if it's. Oh, yeah. This is some stupid it's European, Denmark, right? or I don't know what the hell it's. Yeah. Das is not good. 
would have been nice if it was whole. Yeah, it would have been nice to put in your window. That's for damn sure. It's got the whittle, the, the typical German whittle, <laughs> German-made glass. What? <laughs> the guy <laughs> managed to break his own crock beer that he broke the bitters with? I think they were busting everything. Yeah, they, those are never broken. That's kind of disturbing. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Still getting broken stuff out of that one hole. I'm just gonna see what's. <laughs> Watch out for this first step, man. <laughs> I think it's the third one. <laughs> oh, this is totally not creepy. I got some. Oh, the rats have really done a, done a job down here. Back dirt bottles. Wow, look at all these bottles being dug up here, just in this work being done under this old building slated for demolition. Damn, this is pretty cool. Might see what I can find in here. That other hole out there is still just broken frags. Cool uh, broken bitters they dug up the other night. Dr. S. Hartman's. Mischler's Herb Bitter. Wow, it's just a bizarre, interesting square from the 70s or 80s. Pleasing the ladies. Look at this place. Holy crap. We have a bottle finally. Looks like we got a bottle. Uh, a bottle. Clear med. I guess that's a bottle. <laughs> oh, that's cool. It's got a monogram on it. Nice. SW. What the hell that stood for? It's a nice uh, 70s, early 80s med with a smooth base. Nice. Monograms, right. Whoa. There we go. Okay. Just starting to tunnel in this basement a little bit. Got some, got some wine time showing. God, I just wish that was an ISL and a stupid wine bottle, but we'll see. Uh, ooh, 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 ooh. are oh, especially in this particular... big old phallus like that how's that thing gonna survive damn but it would have been so nice got a little concrete here from the support post but look at that just missed the concrete pour let's see let's see if she lived I take holding a phone. Crock beer did not survive. We have a low survival right here in this layer. Even the crock beers were thrown away broken. And that is always a bad sign. You want to find the crocks whole. Because that's scary. That means they're breaking things on purpose. If you're, you gotta try to break one of these stoneware beers. Spoke too soon. Bottles contradicting me. There's a white, interesting looking shape back there. It doesn't look like a crock beer. Let's see what. Stupid piece of west shit. God, I'll have to get out this doorknob thing. God, one of those precision scratchers. God, everything's in my fucking way. Ugh. Where's the top? There should be like a, a neck and a top right there if it's a uh, if it's a damn bottle. I don't, 
fudge. I know what that damn thing is. Just a stupid thing. Like a handle to something. Oh, you dumb piece. Of what even is that? Come on, man. Freaking not a bottle. Weird not a bot. Stupid inferior object. It just needs a, uh, a neck sticking up with a top attached to it. Stupid. That didn't give me a buckasm. Even digging it out with a antique doorknob. <sighs> Jim, you got a bone handled toothbrush? I can't read it. Just please don't say London. It has to say like San Francisco or something. It doesn't say a town I can read. Ah, some of those bone handled toothbrushes, or they actually. Be a, like a, a, you know, a hotel one or something? Well, they'll say the name of a dentist in the, oh, in really? the Old West. Yeah, usually out of San Francisco or something where the, they had enough business to Work. be able to order some of their own toothbrushes. Yeah, that's what you don't want. Damn, you're a... Prom strand. Yeah, it's just a generic bone handle toothbrush. It's whole though. It's nice. Hey. Oh, here's some of that cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> here's a weird pharmacy with the with the smegma still inside of it. <laughs> Frozen in time, fossilized cough medicine. Turned into stalactites. You can kind of see through there. Crazy. Got the jaws of life down here. It's like a dog or a wild boar, maybe. They used to roam the West. <laughs> or the werewolf in London. <laughs> I'm coming down to chip the chip. Just don't chip it as, I'm I'm chip as you're taking it out. I just... <clears throat> it's remotely oh possible the very top snapped off. Oh, come on. I'm not saying it is. I'm saying it's oh, possible. Saying like, it just ha if it isn't, then it has a funny top. I like funny tops. A nice crude globular. That's probably better than a funny bottom. <laughs> well, I'm just saying I can't quite... Get my neck in there. Oh no, dude, I'm sorry I'm about to fart on you. I'm so Are sorry. Are you serious? Yeah. Hold your breath. Oh, That's a major faux pas. Come out. Oh, it's a little tootie. A little oh. tootie hoodie patootie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Sorry about that shit. Oh, it's, a, it's it's kind of a potent one though. Sorry, Fuck. dude. <laughs> Everything for Hollywood, right? Yeah, everything for Hollywood. It should be able to drop out of here now. Okay. Uh, so it's either a funny top or it's sheared off. Please, please. It's sheared off. God damn. <sighs> Wasting my time. So now you're down here by yourself. Go ahead and fart. <laughs> sure. Got some stupid, just heavy hotel china down here. <gasps> Look at that, mm. man, it's like a countertop. Mm. That is some thick plate, ironstone. That'll kill you. Just the thickness of that, it's amazing. It's Hotel China, if I've ever seen it. Dumps are different than privies. Each section of a dump you're digging in contains a different wagon load of trash from a different place. Sometimes you're getting trash from a household or a livery stable, or in this case, an eating establishment. Maybe it was a hotel, saloon, oyster bar, or a restaurant that dumped right here. Okay, we got what appears to be a food bottle. Okay. Let's just hope it's not broken like every... It's got a shape to it. You know, it's got a nice shape. I'll see if I can... I'm not sure if I want to pull it yet, but let me see if it's... Loose. It's so hard to do this and hold the phone. Uh, uh, come on, baby. Uh, give me something whole. Give me something to hold on to. Uh, uh, 
Is it whole? No, it's all there. Hey. It's a crappy bottle, man. No, that's a rolled lip mustard, man. That thing's ancient, stupid. Yeah. Let's see if it has a pontal. These probably, these French ones have later pontals. Yep. Yep. Old Euros. They take 100 years more to do everything. Well, since you're so excited about it, that's how you're kind. <laughs> Yeah, it's got a nice kind of inward rolled lip and nice place for the label. Here, Chip, that's it. We found the reason this dump is so sparse. That's a piece of a Chinese pot. So uh, Chinese were here in this um, in this dump, right? And that's why we're finding limited amounts of bottles because they they would come and recycle the bottles. They were very poor back in the old days. A lot of them. Because of the massive racism and xenophobia directed towards the Chinese population in the Old West, what they could do for an occupation here was pretty limited. Since many Chinese were very poor at that time and had come from a poor country, they were excellent pickers. Many Chinese made their homes near dump sites in the Old West, where they would pick through the trash, scavenging anything they could reuse or recycle, such as bottles which could be returned to the bottlers for a deposit, or back to the glass factories where they would be bought and melted back down into the crucible to be made into new bottles. You often see many Chinese household artifacts in 19th century urban dumps because they lived right nearby. You got a Walla Walla pot? <laughs> yeah, look at the size of that honker. <laughs> if it's whole, that would actually be really cool in that size. Like yeah, he got a big old, he's got a big old well, we get those here. Yeah. Chinese yeah, pot they, here. They said they used to have um, put the people's bodies in there. And they yeah. throw them in there and back in the <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's a whole story. <laughs> yeah, we got a big old person where Chinese pot. This is the reason why there's no bottles in this dump. There's still in the other night. They, they took all the bottles, we cycled them, oh, and we placed them. With their pots. I hope this accent doesn't get me canceled. <laughs> wow, it's like a buoy, <laughs> a beach ball in the hole. Oh, we got a damn bomb. <laughs> <laughs> get back with you when we're more exposed. It's getting more interesting. Oh, there. Yeah, we got a. We got the top part there. That's the lip. Inside is hollow, hollow void for 140, 50 years. Yeah, I see a couple of gold. <laughs> <laughs> the leprechaun's treasure is inside. It's either a Chinese pot or a, uh, one of those mines from World War II. <laughs> mug out to get the crock out. You have to pull the crock out to get the pot out. <laughs> got multiple angles of attack here. <laughs> We're invading China, man. It's, it's, a, it's a beast, man. We're trying to, trying to kill this Death Star. Death Star. Third object won't come out. I think the crock beer and back's holding it in. It's kind of loose. Some people get to go. Some people get to pull out rare bitters. Ooh, watch out. We get to pull out the Chinese Death Star. Finally. God damn. Of course that's whole. Let's hope this isn't the only one that's whole. With the shovels might fall on there. Sometimes these have fingerprints on them from the, the last person taking it out of the annealing oven. The fingerprints of the dead. Right. What in the hell is holding that in? 
Because that stuff's just, don't pull it too hard. Is it moving? <laughs> yeah, I don't even think so. I saw, I saw some of the dirt collapsing. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> Please. <laughs> That's <laughs> really eating into our bot time here. Are you what in the hell is there's like one tiny there's like fifteen percent of it that's not dug out and it's somehow holding the entire thing in. It probably weighs fifty pounds. Come on. Let's take a trip inside the Chinese pot. Going inside the Chinese pot for the first oh, time. Looks like it's going in there. <laughs> for the first time in 150 years in this hollow cave underground. We are looking in to a tomb. A tomb in which. Oh! 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 Jesus Christ. Wow. There it is. I get, <laughs> I get it now. That was a Chinese pot gasm. <laughs> Oh, that was a real big one. That was a big gasm. What is that weird? Look at the notches on it. What the hell? <laughs> what a ridiculous object. Yeah. How heavy is it? <laughs> like 20 pounds. Shit. What the <laughs> F? Did you give it to me? <laughs> oh, <laughs> The burden is released. Wait, what came out of it? See what the mouse head. There was a mouse head inside the Chinese pot? <laughs> Weirdo. Wow. That the last thing to be in that pot was a dead rat. Or... Anything else in there? Looks like it. What is it? I don't know. Maybe it's, it's like Uncle bone. Chu. <laughs> Let's see, more bones? See if they are. Wow, more bones. This is like their last stew. Eating rats and whatever, like a bird or. Geez. The Chinese definitely would eat anything if it had wings and it wasn't a plane and legs and it wasn't a table. Anything else weird? Checking behind where the pot was to see if there's it hid and protected anything. Mustard bottle and some decorative glass. The marriage of white people and <clears throat> Chinese. There's a Victorian decorative goblet. And we got a twofer back here. Double bot. Let's let's hope at least one of them's whole in this town. Sparse dump. Yeah, I mean, uh, double bot back there. Oh, I might grab a snuff first here. I'll even take a snuff right now. Ooh, sounds whole. <clears throat> snuff. See, it's got any color. Yeah, amber. <laughs> nice really? hot amber. No railroad. Is it like a PL? It's an old one. The yeah, it's got that old base, some bubbles. Snuff bottle. Probably 1880s. Let's see what the other one is. Just gotta get the second bot. I'll pull it. Oh, oh, ah. Ooh, ring neck. What the hell? God. Chinese are like, we'll leave these ones. They're not embossed or interesting, so we'll just leave them. Oh, it's got some nice patina. That's old. Nice ring neck. Early mid. Early Whithall Tatum, probably, I don't know, 1885 or so. Four. Four, sorry. <laughs> cool. There you go. That's cool. I've never seen a um, like neck 
a neck label for a shoe dressing before. Dressing established Boston, 1850-something. You can read cool. that? Cool. Yeah, you can, it's good enough so you can read it. Come on. Harness the power of the Orient. Don't, don't pick the handle off. The spout? Is it a, I wonder if it's a jar or if it's a, you know, wide lip. It's got the look of a spout one. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. There's the spout. Soya sauce. Ooh, look, no damage. Nice. A soya sauce. Okay, maybe, maybe a tiny lip. <laughs> yeah, 699. 699. Uh. Six nine, six nine, a good time. Soy okay. sauce pot, Chinese. Got a little bit of chip on the spout. That's okay. It's not fresh. It's Chinese. Happy Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> There's their dinner. A soya salsa. Well, that's because I put the horseshoe up. <laughs> Pull it straight out now. The technique. PJ Arnold. Oh, those are the ones with the fingerprints of the dudes sometimes. Oh, yeah. It's either a master ink or a shoe blacking. Looks like a. Let's just find out. Oh. 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 Shoe blacking. Look, I finally got one. It's now all screwed up. Shoe blick. You're a shoe blick. Let's see if it has the fingerprints. There you go. Fingerprints from. Oh, you found them? The last person that touched this after it was glazed. The fingerprints. Times it's all. Yeah, I didn't pick up. Huh. Penny pipe. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, it's embossed. Wow. Pioneer Dispensary. Whoa. What the hell is it doing from that town? Jeez. No, San Jose. It's all the way from San Jose, California. Wow. Weird. Pioneer Dispensary. 1880s pharmaceutical bottle. <laughs> Extract of cannabis indica. The dump of pharmacies. Ugh. 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 That's ready to come. Oh. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's so good. Oh. Son of a slick dick. I was digging along in here and I spotted this bot in the wall. Unembossed pharmacal. Then we got, short of that one. got an umbrella. Oh, oh, oh. Ugh, don't pull it if it don't come. Yeah. Oh. The is real high on that layer. Bottle. And double bot pull. Oh. Slicko. This is got an, another twofer. <laughs> got a double bot pull. Ready for double bot? Oh. 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 Ah, stupid chip. Let's see what this one is. Garden City. Garden. Family drug store, store, another one from that random town. Rando. Family drug store, and then it looks like we have a uh, black attack down here. Oh, look at that. This will probably be a headless, because yeah. it's a bigger bot. Oh, the bigger bots in this dump seem to have been recycled by the Walla Walla 
Uh, let's see. Actually, no. That's a miracle. It's an intact blackie. Over. Oh. Professional way, huh? Yeah. Professional phone holding black extraction. Yeah, it's a, it's a blicky. Oh, that's an old, old blacky. It's cool. Nice, uh, I can't see through it even. Oh, I was trying to get the light through it. Oh, there it is. Ah, uh, swamp green, swamp thing. Uh, got a marble hanging out right there. Wink. German China. Generic. Doink. Got an extract from hell in the uh, middle of the crystallized catacomb cowbone graveyard. That's a lot of, damn, it's like a slaughterhouse part of the dump here. A little flavoring extract. <clears throat> Ring neck. Don't we love those? Yep, that's what you get when you dig a Chinese picked dump. In other words, not much. This came out when I wasn't looking. Chip, sneaky chip. You know it. Cobalt Wakely's Cameline. It's a cosmetic lotion. Yeah, it's probably the nicest bot. It probably is tonight. <laughs> yeah. All right. Better luck and less Chinese next time. Glowing bottle. That's, Bar that's Barney Badass. Bath and Company. Look at that split. It's got some amethyst in it. Even though it was underneath a house for 100 years, it's somehow still purple. If you can pick that up. It's definitely purple in real life. Beautiful.